Blitzbeats.com. What's good, Blitz from Blitzbeats.com, and today I'm going to show you how to upload your beats onto Beatbrokers.com. Great website. I want to say shout out to Beatbrokers. I think Beatbrokers is giving music producers a great way to create an income and to help producers grow their business. You know, with traffic, with the marketing, the promo, etc., etc. So let's get straight into it. This is how to upload beats onto Beatbrokers. I just logged into my account. So this is the dashboard. Now I want you to note that I have a premium seller account and I think that you should also upgrade your account to premium seller. If you did not do it already, go ahead, pause the video and do that now. Now, since you've upgraded to Premium Seller, let me show you a couple ways to start uploading your beats. First of all, you can go down to Seller Center, click on that, and you can click on the Music Inventory, click on that. Now, from this page, you would click on Upload a Beat. There's a couple more features in your account. We'll go through those in later videos, but for this one, you can just click on Upload a Beat. Let's go back to the dashboard so I can show you another way you can start uploading a beat real quick. You know, if you're in a rush, you wanna do it really fast. I'm gonna go right here to the Beats inventory, click on that, and just click Add New Beat. You can also manage your inventory, I'll update your beats. I'm gonna click on Add New Beat. Now from this page, this is where we're gonna add our instrumentals, one at a time, and let's start by uploading the tag beat. So I'm gonna locate my tag beat. This is obviously the one that's gonna be played on the website. I'm gonna use this beat. I'm gonna click the upload button. Now it's really important to note that when you just choose your tag beat, click the upload button. This way the beat has time to upload while we're still in the process so we can finish and make sure to click that upload button. Next off, we're gonna select our untagged beats. This is the beats that are sent to our customers once they purchase. So I'm gonna locate my untagged beat and I'm gonna click upload. I'm gonna let these two finish. Keep in mind, for the tagged beat, you can only upload mp3 files. And for your untagged beats, the files that are gonna be sent to your customers, you can upload mp3 files, zip files, rar files. And let these finish while we're still going on. I'm gonna give it a name, description, today. I'm gonna upload the image for this beat, I'm gonna click upload, really important to note that you click the upload buttons while you're still doing this. Publishing options, make sure the published is checked on. If you have your Twitter and Facebook connected, you can click these buttons to announce them. You can put your alternate text. I would just put something like this beats. Let's go to beat classification. I just clicked the number two button beat classification. Now I'm going to choose what genre this beat is in. This is kind of like a dirty south hip hop track. I'm going to give it some keywords. Okay. I'm going to choose what instruments are used in this beat. There's some synths, there's some bass. some piano there's some reverb in this beat and so I look at this one the mood in this beat is energetic I would say <laughs> you know what I'm saying energetic now number three I just click number three royalties and authorship if you have registered this beat with ASCAP BMI then you would go through this process click yes I did not with this beat so I'm gonna keep it on note if you sample this beat you can obviously put yes the sample has been cleared or yes it has a sample but the sample has not been cleared or it does not have a sample okay Number four, special features. This is only required if you have a verified BeatBrokers account connected to SoundClick. And even still, we'll just do this later on when we do the import from SoundClick button. You can just upload your entire SoundClick catalog and it will do its thing. It's a great feature. So we're gonna go back to number one here because we're not done. And I want you to keep in mind that this is very important. You see the tag beat is good to go. Now the untagged beat, this is what you need to choose. All licenses, basic license, premium, or basic professional. 
Now, what this means is these are the licenses that, that you can offer your customers on Beatrivers to purchase for your beat. So with the MP3, I like to keep all licenses on. Description, high quality MP3. Now, this is where it gets cool because depending on, you know, if you upload tracked out files or a WAV file or your drum kits or your construction kits or, you know, you can choose from all of these, you can upload, you know, the hook, etc, etc. Depending on what you upload, you can select the license type for whatever file you, you're going to upload. So for the MP3 file, normally MP3 file will go up with all licenses. The tracked out files to your beat probably wouldn't go out with your basic license. It would go out with your, you know, premium or your more professional license. The more, the, the, the license that costs the most, you'd send tracked out files with those ones, with those licenses. So that's the benefit of uploading tracked out files and having multiple license types. So once you choose your license types, I'm going to select all for this one. Keep in mind that you can upload your zip files, your RAR files, and those will have all your tracked out files or your session or whatever you're going to give to your customer in those folders. You upload, choose your license types, and then you click save. So pretty easy so far. I'm going to locate the beat that I just uploaded. Here it is. I'm going to view it. So. For the most part, it looks like we got everything down with that one basic upload. It took about a couple minutes and we got our licenses attached. And it's good to go. So this is what you want to do with your entire catalog. What you want to do is make sure you have an entire catalog, at least 50 to 100 beats plus. I think that's a pretty good range to start from 50 to 100 beats. And, you know, make sure you upload your entire catalog and go through this entire process. Keep watching this video over and over. If you forget any steps, just keep watching it and make sure you got it down correct. I know I had to do it a couple times to get it down correct. So I'm sure you will have to do the same. If you enjoyed this video, definitely click the like button, subscribe, comment, share this and uh, enjoy make sure to keep coming back to be brokers check out blitz beats on youtube as well this is blitz signing out love and love peace